team of meteorologists working on tonight's possible weather event. We've also got an additional set of eyes out on the road. We do. Mike Wilhelm is a professional storm chaser for us, and he's here at WHNT News 19. He's actually out in Lawrence County where he's joining us live. Good evening to you, Mike. Can you hear me? Good evening. I can. Mike, let me just ask you, what do things look like right now in Lawrence County? Right now in Lawrence County, we've just had occasional drizzle. The temperature's in the mid-60s, overcast. Uh, the winds are pretty light, about seven miles per hour right now out of the southwest. And uh, Michael, we we're you know we're expecting this to happen overnight tonight. So, <clears throat> what are some of the challenges that you face trying to track storms in the dark? It, it's a huge challenge in Alabama at any time of the day, but especially at night. Um, obviously, you can't really see a whole lot in Alabama with the trees and the and the hills. And then at night, it's especially difficult with the darkness. Um, so. I tend to play a lot safer at night and, and try to stay in an open area where I can um, hopefully see around me pretty good. And I luckily, you know, I have quite a bit of equipment to kind of see where the storms are and stay in communication with people that can kind of help me out. All right, Mike, we're looking at your Ustream live right now on air, and we know you've got 24 years of storm chasing in North Alabama. So when you're out there, what are you looking for specifically maybe to, to tell the uh, emergency responders and, of course, uh, people like, you know, newscasters, meteorologists, that sort of thing. Yeah, we want to, you know, report anything that we see in terms of possible severe weather. If we see a wall cloud or a tornado, obviously we're going to report that. Uh, hail, uh, you know, we would report that to the meteorologist at the National Weather Service or back to Jason or Ben or Brandon. And, uh, you know, even sometimes when we're not sure about what we'll see, what we're seeing, if it's an actual funnel or an actual wall cloud, we'll say, just looks like it might be a wall cloud, and we'll, we'll continue to watch it. And uh, hopefully what we're seeing from our perspective will match up with what meteorologists are seeing on their radar. And when it does, that can, that can enhance the warning process, hopefully. All right, Mike Wilhelm, live in Lawrence County, our storm chaser. Thanks so much for joining us, Mike. Be safe.